Frank Kelly, uh, Father Ronald Teselli, thank you so very much for joining us this morning. And thank you. Thank you for having us. Extraordinary opportunity for all of this. And I just want to say at the outset, I am a mainstream journal journalist. I haven't been given any parameters for this interview. Uh, but what an opportunity it is to share a story that is really uh, catching on like wildfire throughout the Catholic community, especially here in New England, and now mm -hmm. thanks to avenues like Focus throughout mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. I've heard you described so many times as an ordinary man, an ordinary guy with an extraordinary gift, mm -hmm. perhaps plural. I've heard those gifts mm -hmm. uh, described as charismatic, apostolic, mm -hmm. and yet sometimes when you're reading it, you almost think hard to believe gifts. Mm -hmm. Let's go through of them some, uh, some of them at the outset. The knowledge of the word, what does that mean? God has given me an ability because of prayer that when you pray with someone, he's given you the knowledge to what is the Lord trying to tell you. He's using me as an instrument in that way, if you want to say it like that. Knowledge is just to recognize what God wants you to have. So when you would say something to a person that you're this, that, and I give them a saint that connects to that, and then it's, how do you know that? I said, I don't know that. I'm just relaying the message to you. You're the messenger. In that way, yeah. And because of, uh, because, basically because of prayer, young child, I learned it through prayer that God is nothing but instructing you. And that's what my mother taught me years and years ago, see. Mm -hmm. to tell, so that always stayed with me. And for my accident, what came to me really was a gift of piety, which is prayer. And we're going to talk about some of these other gifts. The gift of tongues. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Um, did you always know you had that gift? No, I didn't always know I had that gift. It's something that it came upon me as I was driving my car. And uh, because of my background in reading Padre Peel, I, I didn't know the gifts itself so much, but reading the life of Padre Peel and all these various different gifts, and you know, driving down the street one day and just out of control. Did it scare you? No, it didn't because it's the simple reason I had peace. I always know if anything came from God, you'd have peace. Oh, I had peace. I didn't understand it yet. Like most things, it, like I had the best way I can describe it when I would hear things, I would just keep praying. Mm -hmm. I didn't immediately jump and sit down and say, do this, you know, put mustard on a hot dog. No, I kept praying, saying, you know, I must be at peace. So I was at peace with it, and then I had to go, and I understood praying in tongue was to close my mind down huh. and only to listen to what was coming. So I had total peace with it and whatever was around me. Although I could be speaking to you, my mind was shut down to hear what God's trying to say. We'll talk more about that throughout yeah. the conversation. Mm -hmm. Knowledge of the word, mm -hmm. speaking in tongues, mm -hmm. and then healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first time that you healed someone, and I would assume that you would say you didn't do the healing. No, that's correct. <laughs> I didn't do any healing. But when you realized that mm -hmm. you had touched someone who was then healed of whatever it was that ailed them, mm -hmm. Did you have a sense, did something come about over you? Or? Okay, it, it, in my case it worked first that he healed me at something first. I used to smoke cigarettes and the Lord showed me in big letters, like a neon sign, stop smoking. And I ignored it. it took him three times before he actually took the cigarettes away. And so I got accustomed, I should say, to seeing some things like this. That's why I didn't want to know anybody. I could always say to the person, I only want to know your first name, mm -hmm. and pray with them. And then when it comes, that's what you get, and that's when they'll know. So, so extraordinary gifts that you, you say mm -hmm. you have been granted. Mm -hmm. Father Toselli, you at first, as I've read, were a skeptic. Is that correct? Indeed. And now right. you lend credence to his story. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no doubt, there's no doubt when you've been around Frank as long as I have. It's been 20 years, mm -hmm. more than 20 years. 21 years. 21 <laughs> years, gosh. Yeah. Uh, the, the extraordinary seems to become ordinary. I felt that, uh, no doubt in my mind anyway, that God um, touched Frank in a special way and is using him uh, to help people. That's, you that's have, it, I think. Have, you have witnessed these gifts firsthand? Absolutely, yep, absolutely. The gift of the word. You have seen him communicate messages that could only, in your opinion, have come from God. Well, I'd say if they didn't come from God, then uh, there was uh, there was some very powerful spirit there who uh, knew what was in someone's mind, knew what needed to be said, and whispered it in Frank's ear.